Nothing wakes up your taste buds better than an ice-cold, fresh, and energizing glass of orange juice. Every day, Americans consume about 20 million gallons of orange juice, an impressive figure that proves the enduring appeal of this seemingly simple drink. Yet behind that clean, delicate sweetness lies a global industry worth billions of dollars. Billions of oranges are planted, harvested, and pressed with minute-by-minute -minute precision before crossing the ocean, from Florida's sun-drenched groves to the sprawling farms of Brazil. Join us on that journey. A perfect glass of orange juice always starts with a perfect climate, and in the United States, that means Florida, the nation's orange capital. Thanks to warm year-round sunshine and gentle seasonal rains, the state supplies up to 75% of the country's orange output, creating ideal conditions for some of the juiciest, most flavorful oranges in the world. Yet behind that abundance lies a tough paradox. America's orange and orange juice industry is shrinking. Consumer demand remains high, but production has fallen sharply. In the 2024 to 2025 season, total U.S. orange output is projected at just 2.46 million tons, down nearly 8% from the previous year. This decline has forced juice processors to lean on imports, and Brazil has become the global linchpin, supplying nearly 90% of the orange juice imported into the U.S. and cementing its status as the world's largest orange juice exporter. Behind those figures is a finely tuned operation, from seedlings and harvesting technology to rigorous quality control systems, where every drop of orange juice must meet exacting standards before entering production. And it all begins with a tiny but precise measurement. Growers don't just eyeball the peel or judge by feel, they use a specialized device called a refractometer. A single drop of juice on the glass is enough to read the brick's level, which indicates the fruit's natural sugar content. When that reading hits a minimum of 10%, about 10 degrees bricks, the orange is considered ready for juicing, ensuring the gentle sweetness and balanced flavor in the cool, fresh sips you enjoy each morning. Across vast groves, massive machines roar to life. They're known as limb shakers, a clever invention that can harvest oranges in a flash. As the shakers clamp two arms firmly around the trunk, they vibrate at a powerful, precise frequency, shaking thousands of oranges onto the conveyor below, which carries them straight into a collection truck moving alongside. In just one minute, a single machine can harvest up to two tons of oranges, more than two million pieces of fruit per day, enough to keep entire processing lines running continuously. Still, not every orange comes off a tree by machine. On many smaller farms, the work is done by hand. Pickers carefully pluck each ripe fruit, load it into large burlap bags, then empty those into bins. From there, tractors haul the oranges to special trailers called gondolas, positioned in convenient spots for loading. Once full, tractor trailers transport the fruit to the processing plant. Convoys of trucks roll into the unloading area, where trailers heavy with oranges are lifted onto massive hydraulic tilting platforms. Within seconds, the platform eases to about a 30-degree angle, and tons of fruit pour into the receiving system below, gliding smoothly under their own weight. This mechanism makes unloading fast, safe, and almost entirely bruise-free. From there, the oranges begin a new journey, moving along long conveyors toward the wash area. Here, they're sprayed with a mix of water in a mild alkaline solution, then pass under a series of continuously rotating brushes that scrub every peel. High-pressure spray nozzles work non-stop to rinse away dust and debris, while the brushes meticulously clean each fruit as if polishing Florida sunshine back onto their skins. This step doesn't just clean the oranges thoroughly, it also removes the natural wax, a coating that helps fruit stay fresh longer, but if left on, would diminish juice quality. Once gleaming and clean, the oranges move on to preliminary sorting. Along the conveyor, the watchful eyes of workers scan continuously. Any fruit that's bruised, damaged, or shows signs of decay is pulled out immediately. Next, the oranges enter the automated grading system, 
Along the conveyor, hundreds of rollers spin continuously, allowing cameras and sensors to inspect every surface of each fruit from all angles. This enables sorting by size and diameter, so every orange matches perfectly with its corresponding juicing head. The system uses FPGA-driven, sensor-equipped cameras that can identify an orange's diameter and color with up to 94% and 90% accuracy, respectively. In parallel, AVIS-NIR spectrometer measures Brix degrees BX, the fruit's natural sweetness, even as the oranges move along the line. As a result, each orange is selected not only by size, but also by ripeness and flavor profile ensuring consistent quality in every drop of juice. After precise grading, the finest oranges are sent straight into the industrial juicing system. Each fruit is seated in its own pressing cup, secured by a spiked metal ring to hold it firmly during compression. When sensors confirm proper positioning, a steel piston descends from above, forcing fresh juice to flow quickly. In just a few seconds, the juice, pulp, and peel are completely separated, cleanly, efficiently. From there, the fresh orange juice travels through sealed pipes to large holding tanks where filtration removes any remaining pulp. That pulp is then blended back into special batches for people who prefer extra pulpy, more textured juice, much like what you'd squeeze at home. At industrial scale, a line like this can process up to 1,000 oranges per minute, the equivalent of more than 500,000 gallons of juice per day, enough to keep the global market well supplied year-round. The remaining peel isn't wasted. Immediately after pressing, it's routed to an essential oil extraction line where the natural aromatic oil is separated. The very orange note used in perfumes, body washes, scented candles, and skincare products. According to USDA data from 2024, Brazil's exports of orange essential oil rose by nearly 7% from the previous year, reflecting strong demand from the global flavors and fragrances sector. As a result, every orange is used to the fullest, from juice and pulp to peel. After pressing, the orange juice follows one of two different paths, depending on the production goal. For concentrated orange juice, the fresh juice is routed through multi-effect evaporators, where about 80% of the water is removed using heat and vacuum. The result is a thick concentrate that retains most of the fruit's natural sugars, acids, and aromas. This concentrate is then deep chilled and frozen solid into blocks of frozen concentrated orange juice you often see in the supermarket freezer case. It's a common method at large-scale plants in Brazil and Florida, cutting shipping volume by up to five times compared with fresh juice. For single-strength juice, the process is designed to preserve the most natural flavor. The juice passes through flash pasteurization, heated to about 85 degrees Celsius to eliminate microbes, then rapidly cooled to 1 to 2 degrees Celsius to protect vitamins and taste. This juice contains no added sugar or additives, so it may carry the 100% orange juice label under the 2024 USDA standard. After pasteurization, the juice is stored in massive chilled tanks, each holding over 1 million gallons under airtight conditions for 18 to 24 months with no significant loss of flavor. Before bottling, random samples are sent to the lab to check acidity, sweetness, bricks, color, aroma, and microbiological stability. This ensures every bottle on the shelf meets consistent standards for quality and food safety. Now the juice reaches its final leg, the bottling stage. On gleaming stainless steel lines, hundreds of empty bottles glide along the conveyor into the automatic filling zone. Integrated sensors and electronic scales at the bottleneck measure every drop as it's dispensed, ensuring each bottle hits exactly 59 ounces, the equivalent of juice from about 16 fresh oranges. In the blink of an eye, the automatic capping machine twists each cap tight, so fast it's almost impossible to see with the naked eye. Right after that, the bottles move to the labeling station where they receive brand labels, product details, and nutrition facts. Finally, the finished bottles are packed into multi-packs, neatly shrink-wrapped and stacked squarely onto pallets. An industrial robotic arm wraps a clear protective film around each pallet, keeping every bottle secure and ready for long hauls. 
The pallets are then loaded onto refrigerated trucks. The cargo bay temperature is kept steady to preserve freshness and original flavor until these bottles appear on store shelves across the country. And if you enjoy behind-the-scenes journeys like this, hit like, share, and subscribe to discover more fascinating stories behind the everyday products we all know.